हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम सत श्रीकाल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन विथ योर वॉश ऑफ एट वारे वा डॉट कॉम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू आलू मटर समोसा यू नो दिस अ वेरी बेसिक समोसा इट्स अवेलेबल ऑल ओवर द ग्रेटेस्ट इज द सिंप्लिसिटी एंड द फ्लेवर्स एंड द टेस्ट दैट गो इन इट very simple very tasty you can eat lot of these samosas in one go because they are so delicious so for this first we are going to make the masala to make the masala always add less oil not more so just add little bit of oil and when the oil is slightly hot we are going to add little bit of cumin seeds in this we are going to add finely chopped green chilli yes little extra for me in this we are going to add green peas okay also add salt pinch of uh, turmeric in this we are going to add coriander powder chopped coriander a little bit of chili powder and pinch of garam masala this is optional okay and once you add this just toss this you want this masala to be slightly roasted like this that's when your samosas will be nice and flavorful in this add boiled and mashed potato okay so making this alu masala samosa is so simple and we're going to make many variations there are kala masala samosa potatoes that are fried and made you know the bengalis make it differently the samosas in kerala are different in maharashtra again the flavors are different so we're going to learn all of them but this is the basic samosas if you have seen earlier i have also added samosa masala lit ginger garlic paste it's up to you you know how you want to do it but this one is very simple and tasty now in the last we going to switch off the flame then squeeze in little bit of lime juice and one more thing is whenever you boil the potatoes remove the potatoes when they are fully done and when the water is hot if you let these potatoes sit in that water moisture will be absorbed by the potatoes and you will have very mashy potatoes and that's not really good for making good samosas you want very well cooked potatoes and the potatoes have to be dry now the masala is all ready but making the dough for the samosas is also very important so let me show you how to make that now i'm going to make this by taking around 300 grams of flour in this for the flavoring i'm going to add ajwain in the dough okay there are couple of variety of doughs people make some people like to add cumin seeds that is a jeera but you know ajwain is the most popular flavoring and in this add right amount of salt in the sheet now make a well and pour around 100 grams of vegetable shortening oil or ghee whatever you want to make now add water and make it a stiff dough that is like puri dough not like chapati chapati is very soft the puri is a tighter dough so we going to add water and we going to make the dough now the dough is ready all you do is just take a clean wrap or a cloth and just wrap it and after resting it for you know 30 minutes we going to make the samosas once you rest the dough divide them into the portions you want if you want bigger samosas you may have to take bigger portions if you want small samosas take it lemon size because each dough you will be able to make two samosas now roll it first little bit rounds okay for rolling the puris or samosa dough you never have to use flour because if you use flour first thing oil spoils and you know if you use the right amount of shortening in the dough then you will be able to roll the sheet easily look at this first make it slightly round and then now make it elongated like egg shape make it slightly thinner look at this once you roll it and you will be able to see kind of literally the bottom little bit that's when you cut like this and you have the dough ready for two samosas got it now the masala is ready the sheets are ready so take a sheet just make sure you apply water on all sides okay only the edges we don't need anything in the center then making samosa is no big art very simple just make sure the top overlaps okay like this and meets at the center okay 
Now look at this. Perfect. Now take the potato masala, whichever one. You know, I made this little bit spicy, but you can make it a little bit milder too. Okay. One important thing is just press the masala, then start folding it from one side, then fold it next. Okay, like this. Okay, see the overlap. Look at this. We call them sitting Buddha samosas because the fold and then the shape on top. So this is your awesome looking samosas. So make bunch of them and fry it. And the beauty is you can put these samosas on a plate, put in the fridge and fry it only when your guest arrive. Lot of people think shaping the samosas is an art. For me, frying the samosas at the right temperature is art. Do not fry them at a hot oil. You know, make it medium hot. When the samosa is dropped, that's how it should be. The slowly the bubbles have to start coming up. That's when your oil is perfect and you will be able to fry samosas. Okay. If you fry the samosas in really hot oil, the color will come, but you want to get the nice, the bite, the samosa bite. It's not the short crust bite. It is not kachori bite. It is a samosa bite. When you get that, that's when your samosas will be perfect. Don't you worry. Just let the samosas get coloring slowly. That's when they'll come out really, really good. I told you frying is an art, but make sure you get the samosas correct color. And when you start frying them at a little bit uh, lower temperature, then the samosas will get even coloring. So now you know, high temperature, uneven coloring and not that crispiness. Slow, start from a little bit lower temperature, even coloring and their nice kasta that is crispy. The beauty of a well fried samosa is, look at the bite. Hmm. The bite means it has to be crispy but the bite has to go inside just like this. It should not, the dough should not stretch even a bit. That's when you have a perfect samosa dough. Look at this. Mm. How is it? Mm, mm, mm. Dear friends, I hope you enjoyed today's session of learning really basic aloo matar samosa. But do not forget, Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips at whatever.com so others can benefit from your gate cooking. I know you must be thinking how the bite is on this. Mm.